ever since Disney bought Lucasfilm and decanonized the EU, there has been a rift between Legends fans and Canon fans. I think I have a solution. Hey everybody, Steve here. So, Disney buys Lucasfilm. And they make their first move. Well, their first move is to decanonize everything that came before them. Uh, taking the EU and just casting it into outer darkness. So they can create their own content, their own stories, and not be beholden to what came before. I get that. I can completely understand it. Did I like it when it happened? No, but I understand it. Now here we are, years later, and we have a sequel trilogy that was complete garbage. We have shows like, uh, well, Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, uh, the third season of The Mandalorian, that have been generally panned. They're, they're, nobody likes these. And then we have other shows like, well, the first two seasons of, of uh, Mando and Andor and th this new Ahsoka show. There are people that love these shows. I'm not sure why, but they do. And hey, if you love them, great. I'm glad you love them. I'm not here to police anybody on what you like and don't like. This is my opinion. This is a whole opinion thing. Uh, I just put out my Ahsoka and my opinions on that and why she's not the future of Star Wars. And the comments went crazy. They were a lot like, they were a lot like this. You suck! So, let me just begin to say, whatever you like, you like. But, you can't argue the point that there is a divide. That people who like the George Lucas EU stuff. There, there is a big group of those people on one side. And then there are a large group of people who like the Disney stuff. I mean, for whatever reason, they're grasping onto it and they're enjoying it and they're loving it. And I am I am not sure why, but they do. God bless you if you do. But I think I might have a solution. I have a solution that will make everybody happy if 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 Disney Lucasfilm is even lessening if, if they're watching I'm about to tell you how you can print money you can save Disney by doing this here it is get ready restart the EU it's that simple you find the writers who were there originally, writing the original EU books. And you bring them back. These writers understood Star Wars. They appreciated the uh, original uh, source material. They appreciated it, they, they, and, and they worked off it. Now, you're going to get a lot of people who say, now, the, the EU was filled with inconsistencies. Yes, when something gets so big, like the EU, you're going to come up with, you know, irregular, irregularities and inconsistencies from time to time. They slip through the cracks. It happens. But I think the majority of people who read the EU books will back me by saying when there was no Star Wars and all we had was the EU books, that is what kept us going. We enjoyed them, we look forward to them, and when they were stopped, we were upset. And now, you know, Disney came along and they bought Lucasfilm, throw away everything that came before, and now they're putting out bad stuff. I mean, no one is reading the High Republic stuff. Uh, the, the first round of books that came out, the Chuck Wending books... No one's reading them. I tried, I bought the first one, tried to read it. 
I think I made him. I think I might have made it into the first forty or fifty pages where I when I just I just tossed it. It was garbage. It's a garbage book. He's 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 not a very good writer, in my opinion. Bring on the Chuck Wending haters now. Um. Yeah, if you restart the EU, and continue from where you left off and restart those stories, now. The EU people, the ones that, that love the EU books, they have something to look forward to. You can continue that storyline, and those people can read it. I'm one of those people. Can continue to read the EU books and enjoy that timeline. Likewise, the people who enjoy the Disney stuff. You don't have to read those books. You can continue to enjoy the Disney timeline, and that's it. They're never going to get rid of the sequel trilogy, no matter what. Disney has dumped way too much time and money into it for for, for whatever reason you think they might get rid of it. They're not. Ahsoka, Mandalorian, uh, and or everything that they're doing will lead to the sequel trilogy. And the sequel trilogy is bad. So... By that logic, everything there is bad. In my opinion. I have to keep saying in my opinion because of all the uh, well, all the angry uh, commenters I'm going to get saying how uh, Disney's bad. Um, yeah, there, so you're not going to get a third branching uh, Star Wars coming off this. They're not going to redo the sequel trilogy. They're not going to dismiss it. Everything is marching right towards the sequel trilogy. And that's not a good thing. So, what do you do? What do you do to make everybody happy? Well, like I said, you give the Legends fans the EU back. Give them the EU back. Continue to write the stories. You can write as many branching stories off the EU as you want. I mean, Luke... And his son, Ben, can go on adventures. Han and, and, and Leia and their, and, and their daughter can go on adventures. You can take characters from the EU and spin them off into their own thing. It would be great. And just like the Disney's doing with the, their garbage stuff. Spinning things off and making... Horrible, horrible decisions time and time again. Why don't your lightsabers work anymore, Disney Star Wars? Why won't they kill people? We want to know. Remember good old days where lightsabers killed people? Just the thought of getting hit by a lightsaber struck fear into people. Now you get hit by a lightsaber and, yeah, you know, you go to the hospital, you're fine. No. But this is where you guys come in. You let me know. Tell me in the comments. Is this a great idea? Is this just money waiting to be printed by Disney? Or is this a bad idea? Should, should, should we just leave the EU where it's at, unfinished, just dead, cut it off, and forget about it? Let me know in the comments.